Hi everyone, I'm attorney Ayhan Akmen. Today, I would like to discuss with you and explain actually about the employment-based immigration categories uh, in the US. To be considered for an immigrant visa under some of the employment-based categories, the applicant's prospective employer or agent must first obtain labor certification approval from the Department of Labor. Once received, uh, the employer then files an immigrant petition for an alien worker with the form which is called I-140 with the United States Citizenship and Immigration Services. What needs to be also known is once the stage is done and the labor certification is certified before getting into second stage, uh, the visa numbers needs to be actually current for the employment based in order to actually for you to be uh, able to get the National Visa Center to be involved. What needs to be also known here is employment-based immigrant visas are divided into five uh, actually preference categories. Certain spouses and children may accompany or follow to join employment-based immigrants. To apply for an employment-based immigrant visa, you have to follow the process either through your uh, attorneys or through the USCIS to make sure that you know you complete each step before you can actually come to the United States. If the person is in the US, then uh, the, you know it will be the adjustment of status with the immigration services. But if the person is located in overseas, then the National Visa Center will be able to actually proceed with the application. And once it's completed, we'll actually have the file to be transferred to consulate where the person is located, their country, in order to, for that person to get the immigrant visa through the U.S. consulate. And of course, the U.S. consulate will give uh, different requirements for person to be able to, uh, you know, eligible to get the visa. Will be such as the person needs to complete the medical exam requirements, needs to get the original documents, including the passport, and needs to schedule, make sure that the, how the passport is going to be delivered back to her or him. And after that, the person will be able to actually appear at the consulate. One thing, of course, to remember is this green card through the employment uh, has five categories. So it could be, you could have different positions, different employment opportunities for people to be able to take advantage. And also investors, you know, through the EB-5 categories will be able to get the visa through the same way once their investment uh, is approved, once their investment case is being approved by the USCIS. If you or you know your employee needs any help regarding the proceedings uh, with respect to labor proceedings and also with the MVC or USCIS proceedings, feel free to call us at 212-245-7070 or you can send us an email at info at Thank you so much for your time.